This is Jason with Chicago News. We're here at the 2019 Chicago Auto Show Media Preview Day. We're going to give you a sneak peek before your own visit. But first, we've got some awards to give out for some of our favorite cars this past year. There's a link to the awards video in the description below, but now let's head out and see what's out on the show floor. Clearly there's just no way that we can cover everything that's here. If right here you can just see there's Subaru, Volkswagen, Honda, Kia, there's Chevrolet, there's Hyundai, there's Nissan. This is all just right in this one area and this is only half of the floor. This thing just spans a million square feet and there's so much to see. You really have to come here and check it out for yourself. Okay, we're at the Ford booth here at the 2019 Chicago Auto Show and the first thing that catches your eye is this beautiful GT. It's really Ford's hypercar. They've entered the market. They're competing with Ferrari. They're competing with McLaren. They're competing with all the top brands in the supercar space. This is well sought after. Not anyone can just walk in off the street and buy this. You have to get on a list. They've even got it roped off here at the show, but this is definitely one you want to come and see. Let's see what else Ford has to offer here. I see one of the new Shelby's GT500. Something I noticed about this that's pretty cool is this actually has carbon fiber wheels. You imagine a whole wheel made out of a weaved, molded, and baked component. This is not metal wheels. So really advanced technology. People think of Mustangs and they think, you know, kind of old school you know, muscle car, but this has some really incredible technology in it now, and just look at it. Keep walking. Let's see what else we got here. Looks like we've got some Rangers here. We just had a chance to drive the Ranger. In fact, take a look uh, on our channel for the review coming up, but this has not been on the market for the last six or seven years, and, you know, I think this is going to be a really big seller for Ford, like to have a midsize or a smaller pickup people in the city it just fills a need for you know people that need a work truck but don't want to drive a big truck and over here we have the brand new Super Duty which Ford just announced a couple of days ago so if you do need all of that extra space and all that extra power you've got an all new Super Duty here that's being featured at the show as well I think there's uh, something new over here as well the Explorer we're gonna go check that out too they just announced that this morning so let's take a look so the brand new Ford Explorer was just released today and we get now an ST version, so you've got a performance version. I'm assuming some version of the EcoBoost twin turbo V6 under here making even more power. Really cool looking, we've got an interesting new dash which we'll show you in a second here. We've got a vertical screen as opposed to the normal horizontal screen, which we think is kind of cool and just a very nicely appointed sporty interior it looks like it has supportive seats contrasting stitching looks really cool so as you can see we've got this vertical screen right here some pretty simple controls focused all in the center right here gear selector drive mode all very simplified nice clean design and again a real sporty look in this ST so we look forward to driving this one with all these new performance vehicles coming out from Ford you might end up with one of these behind you which is their new hybrid police interceptor so you've got now battery power and the police are going to be saving gas while they give you a ticket so we're here in the Toyota booth now the 2019 Chicago Auto Show and this is a much anticipated release for Toyota you've got the Supra making a return now there's been a lot of talk online people are saying that they should have a manual transmission version this is shared platform with the BMW Z4 that's coming out but in the flesh, I gotta tell you, this thing looks really, really good. And you definitely wanna make your way over here and take a look at it in person. The pictures don't really do it justice. And this is still something we should be happy about. Toyota coming out with a rear drive performance car again. Right next to it is the other side of the product line. You've got the new Corolla. This is the entry level, but a much nicer looking Corolla. You've got some interesting design cues. You've got a little bit more upmarket feel. You've got supportive seats they have a turbo version now so there's some things to like about this Corolla as well go check out some concept cars they have but they're way on the other side of the booth so let's walk over so on our way over to the concept car we actually spotted this new RAV4 here an all-new design a lot more angular design you can see especially in the quarter panel there You've got some pretty severe angles they're going for a really bold look and they've definitely achieved that and another thing we're seeing as a theme here in the Toyota booth is there's a ton of off-road vehicles TRD Pro 
even this RAV4 is set up for off-road use. So we hope to get a chance to take these off-road and see just how capable they are. But let's take a look at this concept car back here. I don't know if we can really call it a car. This is Toyota's idea for mobility in the future, being able to have a vehicle that is compact, you can take around the city. The only thing I wonder is what the crash test would look like with something like this. But ultimately, this may be the future of motoring, especially in the city. We're gonna go check out another concept car that Toyota's brought over on the other side of the booth. You know, one thing you see less and less of at auto shows are concept cars, but Toyota's brought this, this TJ Cruiser. It's a hybrid, looks like it has either reverse door or sliding door. Really funky design. This is pretty cool. This is a right-hand drive version. A hybrid off-road vehicle. Again, that off-road theme just is carrying through, it seems, for this show with Toyota. And if you look over my shoulder here, you can see the whole TRD Pro display. They've got all these off-road vehicles. You know, if you take a look at this Tundra, they've even got an air snorkel so that if you're fording deep water, it can still bring air into the engine from that snorkel above the roof line. So a lot of dedication to off-road and you know that's something Toyota has been known for it's good to see them featuring it here so we've got a chance to get up here and check out this new RAV4 pretty interesting looking interior again like we're seeing a theme here they've kind of made the screen more upright but there's a lot more buttons to control it here some really really bolstered seats you've got a lot of support from these seats some red stitching overall a very sporty looking interior for this RAV4 the off-road version of it so again Really looking forward to hopping in these seats and checking it out off-road. So we're here in the Dodge Simulator. They've got a charger here that we are, can sit inside of. This whole thing is a motion simulator. So if you get the chance here at the show, you definitely want to come check this out. It's pretty cool. See if I can do this without crashing here. Very unique to sit in a car like this and do a simulator. A lot of the simulators, you know, you sit just in front of the computer screens, but this one you're actually sitting in one of their cars. It's pretty cool. So. We definitely got performance represented in the Dodge booth here. We've got the Demon behind us here. You've got the most horsepower that you can get in pretty much any car these days. You've got all sorts of interesting performance versions of different SUVs. You've got a bright purple Challenger here. This is the simulator that we were in, but once you get past all these Dodges, oh, another thing is we've got the 35th anniversary of the Chrysler minivan. So you've got the new Pacifica here. There's a hybrid version, obviously, a plug-in as well, but this is an all new design anyway for this year that they've just introduced. We've also got Dodge Ram over here, so let's go check out the new pickup. So Dodge's pickup has been getting a bit long in the tooth. You know, we reviewed them a couple times. We've been a little disappointed. I haven't had a chance to try this yet. This is the brand new Dodge Ram. This is actually a diesel version, up to 27 highway miles per gallon out of a three liter turbocharged diesel. So. That's going to be an interesting one to check out. It's definitely a better looking pickup than the previous Ram. Over here you've got the Power Wagon version, which is their off-road version. It's got knobby tires, it's got performance off-road shocks. You've got lots of different versions represented here of the new Ram. Lots of new trucks on the market with Chevy coming out with their newest one as well. Dodge with their new pickup truck. We love Ford. We're going to see how these stack up. Okay, we're here in the Volvo booth and I'm excited about this because this is a new wagon to the market. This is the V60. We've also got the S60 sedan, which is new to the market here as well. Really, really good looking vehicles. Again, Volvo has been killing it with design. That's why we're giving them awards. The proportions of this wagon are really, really tight. You know, they've had the V90 out for a little while now. This is a more compact version, but check out this funky interior cloth that you can get. This is a Momentum trim. Again, just really stepping it up as far as interior finishes, making cars that are interesting to look at, that have unique finishes in a market where everything is kind of looking the same. And in that vein, we've got the XC40, which we awarded earlier SUV and crossover of the year. This is exactly the color combo we tested, and here's that orange interior we're talking about again, just really funky fun, modern interior. They're really appealing to a more youthful buyer with this. And again, the future for Volvo they're talking about is going towards more electrification, more electric vehicles. And here you've got XC60 plug-in crossover. So this is something that's got a great range. You can drive it around just on battery power most of the day. But to tell you something about why I love Volvo so much, you've got two wagons in their booth. You've got a V90 here as well, so Volvo, in our estimation, is killing it right now. 
So Land Rover, Range Rover came out with their new Evoque. It just got released this morning. Really cool looking smaller SUV. Some features that they've borrowed off of a couple of other models. These really cool motorized door handles. Something you don't really get in stuff of this size. Again, just really, really cool trimmed interior. Lots of great materials, stitching, the pattern of the seats. You know, this is actually something that we're really interested to check out as well. This is really cool. This is Lincoln's special edition Continental that they're putting out this year. They're only making a few of these. You can see it's got suicide doors. It kind of reminds you of the Lincoln from the Continental from the 60s. They've also stretched it and look at all that legroom in the back. This is what it really means to have a big luxury sedan, a big American luxury sedan. And it's really cool to see them do this. They're saying that they're going to release more of these in the coming years as opposed to just this special edition. And this is actually really something special. It's really cool to see this put out on the market by Lincoln. You see these really cool door handles here. And on the normal one, there's a door handle at the front and all the way at the back. This time, those handles are up next to each other, which is a really cool design feature. Over here, you've got the Lincoln Aviator, which is their version of the Explorer. This is a new trim level they have here. This is a really cool looking SUV as well. You've got a ton of chrome on these. You've, these really are getting back to the roots of luxury and really making it, you feel the energy of the Lincoln of the old days. So you may be wondering what we're doing here in the Buick booth. This isn't a booth we'd normally get that excited about, but I'm really excited because we've got this Regal Cross Tour. You know, wagons are making a bit of a comeback right now, which I'm excited about. We already saw a few over in the Volvo booth. Here you've got Buick's version of it. This is actually lifted from the European catalog. They've got an Opal version of this over there. Really cool that they're bringing it here. This is a bit of a raised off-road version, dual clutch transmission, all wheel drive, but this starts under $30,000 and that's a lot of car and a lot of utility for the money. You don't have to sit up high to have utility. You can have utility and performance and this gives you that. So earlier we handed out our award for performance car of the year in it was for the CTS-V, which is outgoing. There's a nice brown one behind us here, which there's been some dispute about the color. I really like it. This is the new CT6-V, twin turbo V8 as opposed to the supercharged V8. A little bit less power, but this one has all wheel drive and you can see a lot of the V character coming through this, a little bit wider, wider tires. You've got all the V trim on the inside, carbon fiber all throughout the dash here. Really, really great looking interior. You know, all of the V products really excite us and this one's no different. It's good to see them continuing that product line. We're here in the Acura booth, really excited. This is 30 years ago here at Chicago, they introduced this NSX. You know, this is a perennial favorite of sports car fans. And of course now they have a new one. And so you've got the same color applied to this new model. It's really cool seeing them side by side here on the stage. We're really excited to get behind the wheel of one of these NSX's compared to some of the other supercars we've gotten the chance to drive. You know, we hear really great things about it. This one's got carbon brakes, you know, a lot of technology packed into this thing to make it work. And over here they've got some of their racing heritage on display as well. This is their prototype that just ran the Daytona 24-hour in Florida. And then you've also got the NSX GT3 here, which is another new uh, race car that they've brought out for this year. So you've got a fully carbon body on this. This is purpose-built GT car built to international regulations. So Honda Acura are really dedicated to motorsports. You see that throughout their display. So this is without question the most expensive car here other than maybe some of the priceless uh, show cars that the manufacturers have brought. 3.4 million, the Bugatti Chiron. You can see all the details they have here. This actual surface is carbon fiber weave. They put the color into the tint of the carbon fiber itself. You know, you've got an incredibly trimmed interior. This is all about style, not just performance, but style. It's just really a piece of art sitting here as well. And sitting right next to this Lamborghini, which is in a very exciting color, you know, this is a more standard supercar, if you will, but there's a whole corral here at the auto show that's got a bunch of different Lamborghinis, Bentleys, Rolls, you've got Aston Martin over here, lots of different. So if you wanna check out some really cool supercars, this is your spot. So we've already checked out the new Dodge Ram that just came out and Chevy's got their new Silverado here as well. Lots of different models available, but this is an all new pickup as well. So 
now that a few years ago Ford came out with their new truck, which we love, we awarded truck of the year this year. There's lots of stiff competition in this bracket now. You've got a new Ram and you've got this new Silverado. You can see all new design. It's a much more modern looking truck. Lots of interesting details on this particular model on the bumper cover. There's been some debate about some of the other grills that are available, but this is a really nice looking truck here. And we look forward to hopping in one of these and checking out how it stacks up to the Ford. So we made our way here to our car of the year recipient, this beautiful GT car that Kia put out. Again, this isn't a car that you would expect a car company to be, to be putting out in these day and age of SUVs. You've got their brand new Telluride SUV you can see right behind us. So they're obviously participating in that segment, but as we heard earlier, they really this is a halo car for them and you can see the beautiful lines on the back of this white one here. You know, this is a really special looking car and this is a car that is was really unexpected. It came out of left field. It's really attracted a lot of attention for Kia. The Soul is a car that we've enjoyed, the Soul EV, some refinements to the look as well. On the other side of us, you see a, an off-road equipped version of their new SUV. Again, you see a lot of really cool off-road features like the snorkel to bring in air when you're going through water and that sort of thing. A cool concept car that they brought here. So Kia's got a lot going on at the auto show this year. So 30 years after announcing the original Miata, they've taken the opportunity here to announce this special edition. This is the 30th edition of the Miata. You've got a really, really cool, vibrant orange color here. This is something we've never seen on the Miata before. And it really stands out. These, you can go online and reserve your spot for one of these already, but it really stands out. You've got Recaro seats. You've got some other features here. These are the wheels that they actually use on their global uh, MX-5 Cup race series. You know, and then, as you know, the new, the newest Miata has more power as well, 181 horsepower. So this has always been one of our favorites, and now there's even more to love.